And that's why I made the big point. I would, I would never have come after you because you were doing drugs. What I am against is when, like this, when I'm wearing a t-shirt or something like that, and, and people are like, oh, you need to get that hat off your head. You can't be coming in church with uh, with a, with just a t-shirt on and things like that. You know, oh, you need to be wearing a suit and tie. Have we forgotten the section of the Bible where the Pharisees and people brought a completely naked woman in front of Jesus, mm -hmm. and he wasn't like, whoa, get that out of here. Put no, he was like, on. hey, if you haven't sinned, you throw the first stone. He dealt with it. And he dealt with it, and he showed her compassion. And and we have, we have no idea what people are dealing with. Not only when they come in the building, but when they're watching this online. Mm -hmm. Like this this guy Rick, I'm gonna use you as an example. You're from the U UK, and you said you're you've been sober in three days for a year. We have no idea what he's gone through. Right. And you get the wrong person th that talks to this guy, and they're like. Wow, how dare you did that? That's disgusting. I would I would never have come after you because you were doing drugs. I'm right. glad you got clean. Now you can come to church. Like, nowhere is that in the Bible. And that's it's what religion. makes me so mad is exactly religion. The elder brother was all about the religion, not the relationship with the father.